is section three. After you finish question three and A, you can start this section. Question three. The equation for standardized regression, z y hat equals to beta z x. In a simpler form, y hat equals to beta x. Beta equals to r, which is 0.85. So the regression equation is y hat equals to 0.85x. Now I have a few review questions. The first one is, what is R? Think about what is R, how to define R, and what is the equation for R. Second question is, what is B? B is unstandardized regression coefficient. What is the equation for B? Third is, what is the relationship between R and B? R describes a correlation between X and Y. B is the regression coefficient using X to predict Y. B equals to R multiply SDY over SDX. Finally, what is beta? Y is beta equal to R. Here I have another example. The X is stressor and the Y is symptoms. I have 107 freshmen and the X is number of stressful event they experienced in the first semester, or we call these stressors. And the Y is their psychological symptoms, such as feel worried, feel anxious. This figure displays the relationship between X stressor and Y, the symptoms. So if we look at a specific X, when X equals to 50, theoretically, a lot of freshmen could score at 50 on X. Then some people will display symptoms. And the symptom will range around the mean. So for people who scored 50 at the X, there is a group of people. We will call this a distribution. And their Y value or their symptoms will range around the center. And the center is where the regression curve across 50 of x. So most people will score in the middle. Some people will experience more symptoms, and some people will experience less symptoms. Therefore, for students who score 50 at x, there is a distribution of y's. And this is called this a conditional distribution. The mean of this conditional distribution is y hat. Conditional distribution refers to the set of y's corresponding to a specific x. Then the variance of this conditional distribution is called a residual variance. Residual means error. This can also be called a error variance. That is, we want to use the regression curve to predict y, which is y hat. Okay? Some people scored above y hat. Some people scored below y hat. And this residual variance is the variance of this distribution, or the variance of this conditional distribution. It equals to each true y minus predicted y, y hat, you square it, and you add them together. This is called sum 
of squares for errors was sum of the squares for residual, SS residual, divided by n minus 1 minus 1. It is called SS residual divided by DF residual. The first one is we have just one predictor. Then the square root of this residual variance is called the standard error of estimate, SY.x. That is the square root of SS residual divided by DF residual. Now, we know based on this 107 freshman, the regression equation is y hat equals to 0.009x plus 4.301. The intercept is 4.301. The slope is 0 0.009. For each individual um, x, we could uh, use the formula to compute the predicted y. Therefore, for subject 1, x is 30. If you plug 30 into this formula, then predicted y is 4.557. Then the error y minus y hat is 0 0.038. So you use 4.60 minus 4.557, you will get 0 0.038. Then you do the um, residue for each um, y, each predicted y. Then you square these um, residues. Then you add them together. You will have 3.128. This is called a sum of the squares for residue. Then the variance for residue is this sum of the squares for residue divided by n minus 1 minus 1. So it is 3.128 minus 105. You will have 0 0.03. That is the residual variance. Then the standard error of estimate is the square root of this residual variance. So it is square root of 0 0.03, which is 0 0.173. That is the uh, uh, estimate for the um, standard error of estimate. Now, Pull out uh, in class exercise 3, work on question 4. In this question, it asks you to compute the sum of the squares for residual, then compute the residual variance, then the standard error of estimate.